few people still ask how do you turn an air brake tear off goggle into an air brake roll off goggle. The procedure is simple, a little fiddly maybe, but easy enough. One of the biggest questions you're always asked is can I have a roll off lens for an Oakley air brake? There is no such thing. There is just a lens for an Oakley air brake. The roll off system fits on the two tear off pins. So you do not need a different lens. All you need is a roll off kit that consists of the two canisters and doors, the fishing line system, a pin and a roll. You start off, you remove the strap. The strap's removed, little flathead screwdriver, little slot, locate, just pull it out. Again, the same the other side, in the slot, locate, pull it out. There's the strap removed. You now need to remove the outriggers. This is done by pulling the tag out of the bottom of the goggle first, and then you take off the top. The same the other side, you pull the tag out the bottom, like so, and you rotate and pull out the top. Those two outriggers now put in your goggle bag, keep them safe, you don't need those for the rest of this procedure. You then take the fishing line system. It can only go up one way, and it's marked on it top. So it's easy enough to know which way around it goes. The little pin in the top locates over the tear off pin and onto the lens. There's a little tag at the top of it that slots over the lens. Same the other side, tear off pin locates over the lens. At this point it's worth cleaning your lens because you've now handled it and you're never going to be able to get the lens back into a, a clear state. So you clean it now and it's here. You now fit the canisters which are the replacement outriggers. It's exactly the same as the outrigger. You've got the pin at the top with the slot that fits over the frame and the little tag that fits in the bottom. Exactly the same as you've got in the outrigger. It's replacing and the slot for the strap. So you go ahead and you put the outriggers on. Make sure that that locates and you can see the square edge so it's fitted in perfectly into the frame. Same with the other one. You put the top in, rotate so it locates into the top and then you slide the bottom tag in so it's located. So there's your fishing line, your outriggers. Now put the strap back in. Again, a little slot on the back of it strap goes in and you need a good positive click with that strap like that so to make sure that when you stretch it around your helmet the strap can come flying off in your hand. Again the same the other side, good positive click. So there is your goggle with the strap and the canisters on. Now all you need to do is put the roll across. They've changed with the new big bro system. The pin now has a little flange on the bottom. That goes to the bottom and it helps you line up the film so the film pulls straight across the lens. That way it doesn't climb or drop down the pin. There's also on the tag, when you peel it off, if your nails are long enough, There's a little tag and a slot in the pin. That locates through when you pull it across. So firstly, take the full roll. It just slots into the sending canister, which is the one with Oakley written on it. So pull your film across. Then put the door on the front. It now locates with a click at the back and not the front like it used to. Then take your pin, this will now 
slot through there. If your eyesight's good enough, and mine is, because I've got my Oakley prescription sunglasses on. Um, that then, as you can see, has the right angles to the pull, the line. The thing is, you can't not get it in the middle, because that has gone through. You've got the step in the bottom of the pin, so you cannot now get that film anywhere else but in the right place. There and there. Just put your thumb on there and pull that tight before you put the door in, and you can see that that is lined up perfectly. It goes underneath that little step there, and it's on the bottom of the pin. That is now perfectly square and tight. If you then take your other door and put that in positive click again, you're there, and there's your roll off. Then all that's left to do is to fit a mud strip over the top, and that's your roll off goggle out of the tariff goggle.